Meow Meow presents. It rained three days in a row, and Kitty stayed home. I wonder when this rain will end and the sun will appear, thought Kitty. It's so boring to stay home. And then the rain ended. Hooray! Finally, the sun is shining. Kitty brightened up. I'm going to see Puppy. He's probably been sitting at home and getting really bored all alone, too. Kitty went outside, came up to his red car, got in, fastened his seatbelt, started the engine, pressed the gas, and started away. There were puddles everywhere since the rain had just stopped recently. That's so cool to drive in puddles when the water's splashing all around, thought Kitty. But suddenly, Kitty saw something really amazing. He'd never seen that before. There was a whole lake in front of him. Of course, it wasn't a lake, but a huge puddle. It had rained so long and there was so much water gathered that the pool blocked the road. I'm afraid of driving across this pool. It might be very deep. What to do? How do we get over this big puddle? There's only one way to Puppy's house. There's no other road. Kitty stepped out of the car and climbed onto the car's roof to see how big this lake or puddle was. He could see better from the height. And Kitty understood that he couldn't bypass this puddle. What shall I do? I've got it. I need to go to Max's magic garage. He'll upgrade my car. Here's the magic garage. Kitty honked. Beep, beep. Max, open the door. The gates opened right away and the car drove in real fast. Hi, Max. Today, I saw such a thing. You won't believe it. And Kitty told him everything that had happened today. How he stayed home for three days because of heavy rain and was bored. How he went to see Puppy. And how he all of a sudden came across a huge puddle which looked like a real lake. How he climbed on the roof of his car to see where the lake ended but couldn't see anything. This huge puddle probably appeared because of the rains that lasted for three days. Of course this happens, but there's nothing to be worried about. This puddle will disappear in a few days. It'll dry out. But I can't wait for a few days. I need to go to Poppy's. Take it easy, pussycat. We're gonna do something to make your car able to go into water and never sink. And then you can easily cross over that puddle. Hooray, Kitty said. We download special software. First, we need to lift up the car. We have a special elevator in the garage just for this. Done. Now we need to attach special air cushions to the bottom of the car. We choose a picture and we tap on it. Like this. Air cushions? What's this? Air cushions are just like two big sausages, but empty ones. They have air inside and are very light. They're like floats. They won't allow your car to sink. Look. We weld the first cushion on here. And here. Now the second one. Here. And there. Done. Cushions are installed. But how can I drive through the water? 
Kitty asked. Now the wheels won't touch the road. I mean, the bottom of the puddle. That's right, Kitty, Max said. We'll install an outboard propeller like the ones on motorboats to enable the car to move through the water. So, we choose it, we tap on it. Done! The propeller's installed! Kitty thought he was done and he could go, and happily ran up to the car. Max, can you take my car down? I've got to get going! Wait, there's more to come. We need to get a button that switches the propeller on. We drill a hole in the dash panel, like this, and put the button into the hole. Done! When the button is pressed, the propeller starts spinning, and the car will swim forwards. When the button switched off, the propeller stops, and the car stands still. It's quite simple. Now your car is called an amphibian because it can drive both on the road and on the water. Wow, nice. Good job, Max. Here's that puddle. Let's see what's going to happen. Kitty pressed the gas pedal and bravely drove the car right into the water. Yeah. Kitty's car drove into the water fast and went on swimming on the surface like a float. Great! The car's not sinking! Kitty remembered the button and pushed it. The rotor started to spin fast under the water, and the car started to swim forward just like a real boat. Kitty sailed over that huge puddle fast and got to the road from the other side. Kitty! Make sure to switch the propeller off. Push the button. Yeah, I remember. Bye. Once, Kitty watched a heap of YouTube videos about the cars driving in the mud and thought, so what? I can do it too. There's a field around here. And it's really muddy there. I'll go there, he decided. It rained last night, so there should be some good mud. Kitty came to the car, got inside, fastened his belt, and started off. Here's the field. Hooray! I'll show you what I can do, thought Kitty, and pressed the gas pedal. The engine roared, the back wheels started spinning, but the car just drove a little and stopped. Kitty tried to go back, tried to go forward, but all in vain, the car got stuck. How's that? What do I do? How shall I get out? Kitty thought. I know, I'll call my friend Piggy. He'll come and pull me out. Help me! I got stuck in the field! I'm coming, Piggy said. Here he is! Piggy has to get closer to Kitty to hook the tow rope. Piggy is carefully approaching, approaching, and... Oh no! It looks like he got stuck too! Now Kitty's not the only one who's stuck in the field and he won't be sad alone. But we need to do something. We can't just sit here forever. I've got it, Kitty said. Let's call our friend Puppy. He has a real off-roader and he'll be able to get us out. Hi, it's Kitty. Piggy and I got stuck in the dirt in the field. Could you come and get us out? Of course I can. Puppy said, we'll be there soon. Puppy's here, hooray! He's moving back. He's driving up to Piggy's car. It's going well so far. Hooking the tow rope. Starting to pull. It's not so easy to pull Piggy's car that's stuck in the mud. 
and one, and two, and back, and forward, and back, and forward. It seems like the off-roader's wheels are buried in the mud too, and he can't get out. Oh no. Three cars stuck in the field. What do we do? It's not clear. And then Puppy says, let's call out for Blue Tractor's help. He's very strong and he'll certainly help us. And the friends called Blue Tractor. Blue Tractor, hi, Kitty said. We all got stuck in the mud in the field. Hurry up. Don't worry, Kitty. On my way, Blue Tractor answered. Hooray! Tractor is here! First, we'll pull out Puppy. Tractor comes closer. Hooks on the tow rope. And starts pulling his car out of the mud carefully. Done! Now it's Piggy's turn. Hook in the tow rope. Let's go! The cable is stretching. And... Done! Piggy, you're safe now. Now it's Kitty's turn. Kitty's car starts moving slowly. I did it! Thank you, Blue Tractor. What would we do without you? Okay, I gotta go. Gotta take milk to the store, Tractor said. Be careful. Bye, Kitty. I'm going home, Piggy said and left. I gotta go too, Puppy said and left too. Is it real that I will never be able to drive in the mud like those cars in the videos I watched? I've got it! I'll go to Max's garage so that he can upgrade my car. Hi, Max. You can't imagine what happened today. You won't believe it. And Kitty told Max how we went to drive in the mud, how he got stuck, how he called Piggy and then Puppy, and how all three of them got stuck there. And how Blue Tractor came and saved them all. Max listened to Kitty, laughed and said, Yeah, you did the right thing to call Blue Tractor. But don't you worry. We're gonna make it so that your car can drive in the mud and won't get stuck. Hooray, said Kitty. We are downloading special software. First, we need to lift the car. We have a special elevator in the garage for this. Here we go. Now we remove the old small wheels. They're not good for driving in the mud. One, two, three, four, done. You'll have new huge wheels like those on Blue Tractor. But first, we need to install a special frame. Look, let's weld it to the car body. Done! The frame is in place. Now we put on new tractor wheels. One, two, three, four. Bringing the car down. Done! What do you think, Kitty? Do you like it? Of course! I like it a lot, Kitty said, and drove away. Here's the field we all got stuck in. Let's see what's gonna happen. Kitty presses the gas pedal and the car steadily gets underway. This time, the huge wheels are easily driving in the mud. There's a big puddle there. We've gotta go there. The next moment, Kitty's car runs into a huge muddy puddle at full speed. Eee! Ah! 
I made it! Now that heap! Kitty's car gets to that heap fast, pushes off with all wheels, flies through the air, and flops down in the wet mud! Yoo-hoo! Kitty, it's getting dark. It's time to go home. Yeah, I know. Just one more lap, said Kitty, and drove away. Cave. Once, Kitty found out that there was a cave in the mountain nearby. One could drive through it and find themselves on the other side. Can you believe it? You can drive under the mountain or through it. This is so cool. Kitty decided to go there and have a look at the mountain. He went outside, got into his car, fastened his seatbelt, pressed the gas pedal, and drove. But before Kitty had driven far from the house and turned the music on, a light came on on the dashboard and started to flash. Oh no, I'm almost out of gas. I need to stop at the gas station and tank up. The mountain with the cave isn't close, and it would be sad if the car died halfway. And here's the gas station. Kitty carefully approached a gas pump, got out of the car, put the nozzle into the tank, pressed the lever on the nozzle, and gas started to fill the tank. Okay, done! Kitty got into the car, fastened his seatbelt, and drove on. To have some fun, Kitty decided to try counting oncoming cars. First one car, and then two cars, then three. There's the fourth car, little buddy, can you see? Now there's five, and now there's six and seven. Eight and nine and ten, I bet you can get to eleven. And now let's count cars backwards instead. Car number ten, car number nine, car number eight, car number seven, car number six, car number five. Count the cars and watch them drive. Look! Here's that mountain! and a round entry into the cave. Kitty got out of the car to look around, and there was a road sign next to the entrance. One-way traffic. I know this sign. It says that you can drive into the cave from this side only. Kitty came closer and looked inside. It was very dark inside the cave, and he couldn't see anything. I wonder if anyone lives in this dark cave here. Hey! Is there anyone here? Or is there nobody? There's nobody, I suppose. Just an echo. Okay, even if there's someone in the dark, I'm in my car, and my car has lights. I can leave at any moment. Kitty turned his lights on. He pressed the gas pedal and went bravely into the dark. As soon as the car drove into the cave, it became absolutely dark. Either his headlights were too small and dull, or the cave was too dark and two lamps couldn't light it up. What is this? What's that glowing in the dark? It's like there's somebody's eyes. Do you see? And these dark and scary shadows! Oh no, no! I'm scared! I need to get out of here! Kitty stopped and went away from the cave in reverse. Isn't there anything that I can do so that I can drive through the cave? I've got it! I'll go to Max's Magic Garage! He'll upgrade my car! Here's the magic garage. Kitty pushed the button on his wheel. Beep, beep. The gates opened right away, and the car drove in. Hi, Max. Can you believe it? There's a cave in the mountain nearby. You drive through it, and you get out on the other side. Kitty told Max everything that had happened today. 
how he stopped at the gas station, how he drove and counted cars to have some fun, how he got to the cave and saw a sign, one-way traffic, and how he drove into the cave, suddenly saw dark shadows and flashing eyes in the dark, got scared, moved back, and left right away. Max, I turned the lights on, but they were just useless. They hardly lighted the road in front of the car and there was awful darkness everywhere. What do I do? How do I get to the other side? Take it easy, pussycat. I've got it. Now we'll install additional lights on your car. They'll light up the whole cave and it won't be scary anymore. Oh, nice. We'll start our special software just like this. And now we'll need to lift the car with our special elevator. No kitty. This time, we don't need to lift the car. We won't remove the wheels. We'll select this icon on the screen. This is a special mount for running lights. We'll tap on it and set it on the mount. Like this. On the roof? Why on the roof? The lights should be in the front of the car and not on the roof. Pussycat, now you're gonna have plenty of lamps to have a lot of light. Great! Now, we'll get the lights. Where are they? Aha! We'll tap six times and get six lamps on our roof. Look! One, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All six lamps are set. Can I go? Hold on, pussycat, we're not done yet. We'll tap the light sign two more times, like this. One, two and we'll get two additional lights in the front of the car. One, two, done. Cool, Max, let's count how many lights my car has in total. Yeah, let's do it. Count, kitty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten lamps, woohoo! Not bad! Yeah, now you won't be afraid of the dark at all. Your car has been upgraded. When you drive into the cave, feel free to turn the lights on and don't be afraid. But make sure you turn them off when you get out. Okay, thanks, Max. Bye! And here's that cave. Kitty turned all his lights on, pressed the gas pedal, and drove in. The powerful lamps lighted not only the road, but the whole cave in front of Kitty. It turned out that there was nothing scary in the cave and no one lived there, just a funny echo. Kitty got out from the other side and went on. Kitty, turn the lights off. Okay, I'll do it, thanks, Kitty said and left. 